you know, Lee Griffiths every day. He's he's fantastic at, at, at scoring goals, as, as everyone knows, and on the pitch. But he's the same in training, and, and that's what he, he loves doing. He loves he loves playing football more than anything, and I think he enjoys coming to training, and he's the best. Best singer, um, probably see Alan Mabry. In a room with him, he's always in the shower singing. He's a bit. He's the only one I've really heard, but he's not very good, but he likes to sing when I'm rooming with him. It's a duo of Ross Caldwell and Danny Hanlon, the, the two, two young boys in our dressing room who, who you'd think would sit in the corner and not say anything, but they're always dancing about and they're normally naked as well. So. Probably Lee's. He's, he's pretty much ritual as if we're on the TV, he'll walk off the bus with his big... Beats headphones on, but I never see him with him if, if the game's not on TV. So just, that's that's probably the weirdest one, and I always notice he does it. <laughs> the other day, the the black and green Adidas Adipures, they were saying they were like referees' boots. The boys were saying I was like a referee the other day, so I'd probably have to say myself. Well, I can't say my own, so I'll say Kevin Thompson's, which is the same as mine. So I'll say that. I'm going to turn Mercedes C63. Sean Murdoch, definitely. Yeah, he's, he's always coming up with these wee business plans and trying to get people on board, but to be fair to the big man, I think he, he does okay and he's an intelligent guy and not, to be fair, there's not many, but he's quite good. The kit man, they're a, a duo, the kit man and the masseur. Yeah, we Eck and Tam, the two of them are always up to up to stuff, whether it's cutting gear or sc scooting stuff on people or things are going missing and it's always you know, either either any the two of them are or if, if one's not in it'll be the other one and blaming the other. So it's the two of them probably. It was me at a stage, I've quit. It was Lee at a stage. I think you get forced to quit. <laughs> um Again, probably, is it, and this is a strange one, Alan Maybury. He's he's a, a bit of a, a Twitter addict, but like he'll never write in, he's just a kind of a, in the background, he likes to know. Aye, he likes to, which I don't think is really right, but every day in the car I see because I travel through him and he's, he's always on his Twitter. Mm. And Ross Caldwell, probably, again. He's always getting picked up because he, he stays in Edinburgh in a flat, but. He's for Hamilton and he comes through with us sometimes and he's always dependent on his mum and his mum's at every game and I think he's he's just gutted that his goal at Tynecastle he never had a t-shirt on to dedicate to his mum that day when he scored the winner last week. I've got a sparky to start with Lee Griffiths would, would, would be a definite. Um, Owen Doyle as well, I'm going quite attacking here. Boozy, Alex Harris, who's just who's just come on the scene, that would be free. David Witherspoon, who's, who's always brilliant in the wee games and, and hard to get near, so I really kind of need somebody at the back, and I'd probably just stick myself in that team as well, because I, I wouldn't like to face them. 